Here is the data I captured. Here is the data I captured this morning. And I did a quick background extract from this. And this is what you are seeing from, from those pictures. I took several pictures, but rest of the pictures are all too bright. So I went ahead and kept these pictures, the ones that are looking nice. So on the left side of the screen, you're seeing pretty much the moon glow. And the comet is right here, passing by. So this is the Comet 3i Atlas, and this is the moon glow. I was thinking I may not be able to even recognize this through the astronomy program. So this is the program I normally use for identifying comets. So let's load this picture, the very first one. And you don't see a whole lot because I was thinking it's all pretty much washed away by the moon glow. So I was thinking like, can this identify, the program identify the comet that, that is sitting right in the uh, middle of the screen? Uh, to my surprise, it was able to identify the comet. Let me quickly show you that. So this is a plate solve process. It identifies uh, the address of the comet and it quickly identified even though everything else is the glow. So I cropped these pictures so that at least they are a bit smaller. And after the crop, uh, making the picture smaller, I removed the noise and I made it a little bit sharper. And what you are going to see now is the data, which is the data that is uh, cropped and all the brightness was removed. So what you are seeing so what you are seeing now is the data that is cropped and you can still see the moon glow here and the comet is out here, right? So just look at the time lapse and to my surprise, I started going closer and closer to this object by zooming in. Here is what I found. I reduce the speed so that I can clearly see what's happening there. So when I was saying, I hope you can see the comet core passing by and behind the comet you are seeing the glow the coma around is on the back side of that comet right and then i don't know sometimes it's strange that the glow sometimes is green and sometimes it is orange that could be camera artifacts or maybe it is too close to the moon. Don't know why the color shifts a little bit, but you can, you can visually see how the comet is moving. I'm zooming out a little bit so you can get a perspective of it. Do you see that? 
I hope you can visualize what I'm saying. It's not sharp enough, but it is showing that I'm not sure if this is happening or it is showing this way because it is flying so close to the moon. Because when you zoom out, you can see the glow of the moon is also there, right? I'm not sure if it is reflecting. They are too far apart, but I'm just wondering there could be, uh, maybe our cameras are picking up some of that glow. We'll get to the bottom of it, maybe next day pictures. So if you, so please subscribe to my channel. I will have more updates of Comet 3A Atlas and other astronomy videos. Uh, please click on the notifications button so you will see the notification coming in. Thank you.